General Conditioning Exercises Start the warm-up by assuming the basic stance. With each exhale, shift your stance from one foot to the other. It is best to place most of your weight on the little toes. Try not to bend your arms. They should hang loose to allow your lungs to work at full capacity during the warm-up. Let's work the joints of your feet. By doing so, you are warming up your tendons, key pressure points, and muscles of the feet. The next exercise is called candy. Spread your arms wide, side to side, and start walking forward. With each step, twist your arms and legs in opposite directions. The next exercise is called the crocodile. There are two variations of this exercise, one for the general athletic training and one for the combat. Wave motion exercises. In order to prime the neck joints, we don't strain or twist the muscles. Instead, what you do is hang the head forward and relax the neck. Make circular and figure eight motions from rotating and swaying your body. stretching and building the muscles. This makes the muscles strong and pliant, ensuring them against damage in combat. In the Spetsnaz combat system, kicks are mainly delivered not on a straight axis, but rather from the side in an arc. A good way to train for it is holding the leg up in a semicircle. Developing joints, ligaments, and tendons. These exercises are for practicing your basic kicks. The next exercise is designed to improve blood circulation in the body, building strength and endurance. We will be practicing a special type of pull-up to develop a powerful strike or punch and tone your entire body. Our combat push-ups are also designed to develop strength rather than just increase muscle tone. The following exercise is aimed at building strength in your wrists to prevent them from breaking on impact. The next group of exercises targets the abdominal muscles. These exercises are not just about strengthening the abs. They prepare you for the hand-to-hand -hand combat, tone your entire body, improve your strength and respiratory function. Slow pull-ups build the muscle mass and develop endurance in the shoulders, arms, forearms, and back. There are two ways of doing it. Soldiers Training Program. The training starts with a set of warm-up exercises. Then, the outfit moves on to a series of general conditioning exercises targeting various muscle groups. The main objective of the special combat training exercises is the improvement of coordination, agility, reaction speed, and endurance. Once done with the warm-up section, soldiers move on to the so-called power development complex. The set also includes a number of body rolls and flips. One of the key goals of the physical training is building stamina and resilience in the face of adverse elements and tough conditions. These exercises prepare the future scout for performing a wide range of challenging field operations. A great exercise to develop quick reflexes, courage, and team spirit is running through a group of fellow soldiers. These exercises focus on developing complex motor skills and coordination, promote teamwork, mutual support, and optimal task distribution within the team. The next set is the self-spotting technique, moving and rolling on hard surfaces. It tests the soldier's level of physical and psychological readiness, the fighter's internal ability to make quick decisions and take instant action 
is pivotal to his performance. Psychological conditioning is a key component in the fighter's training. It brings the soldier in line with the seriousness of combat, secures moral commitment, and develops resistance against major mental and physical stressors that the soldier may face in close combat.